topic number four of our module five is integral of even and odd functions. So first, pag-uusapan muna natin kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng even sa odd function. So for even function, function of f of x remains unchanged even if x is replaced by negative of x. So in this sense, we have the f of negative x is just equal to f of x. So kahit palitan natin siya ng negative x ay hindi nagbabago yung function natin and that we consider the function as even function. So the example here is x raised to 2n. We have the square root of a squared minus x where x squared. We have the cosine of x and we have the sine of x over x and etc. So let's try this one. If we have here f of x is equal to x raised to 4, then if we are going to test the f of negative x, papalitan natin ng negative yung x natin and we have here negative x raised to 4 and the function remains unchanged. So therefore, we consider this function as an even function. The same dito, dyan, at saka dyan. And isa sa distinction nitong even function is this have the graph symmetrical to the y-axis. Try natin i-visualize. If we have here the function of x is equal to x squared, so try natin siyang i-graph. We have here negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 here. So, this is the value of x and this is the value of y or the f of x. So, if x is negative 2, that is positive 4. If x is equal to 1, so that is positive 1. If x is equal to 0, that is equal to 0. And if x is equal to 1, so that is equal to 1. And if x, and if x is equal to positive 2, that is equal to 4. Now, if we are going to draw the graph of this function, then we have here 0, 0 for 1. So, we have here 1 comma 1 and dito siya and if x is equal to 2 so the y is equal to 4 so we have here 2 3 4 um nandito siya and if x is equal to negative 1 your y is equal to positive 1 and if x is equal to negative 2 the y is equal to positive 4 so if we are going to draw the graph of this so we have a parabola here which opens upward with a vertex at the origin and as you can see here this graph is symmetrical to the y-axis kung ano nakikita natin dito sa left side the y-axis is the same as the right side of the y-axis next na igagraph natin is the cosine of theta so we have here f of x is equal to cosine of theta. So for the cosine of theta, we and so if this is theta, this is the f of x. So kung babalikan natin yung unit circle. So, the so unit circle, I'm a radius na 1. At 0 degree, this is the coordinate of 1, comma 0. At 90 degrees, this is the coordinate of 0, comma 1. And at 180 degrees, this is negative 1, comma 0. At 270 degrees, we have here 0, comma negative 1. And... So for 30 degrees, we have here square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half and for and for 60 degrees we have here 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So 
total symmetrical lang naman to kaya makukuha din naman natin itong mga values nito if we are going to recall the unit circle so dito sa unit circle we have this coordinate here that itong x coordinate na to this is the cosine and this y coordinate here is the sine so kung titingnan natin the cosine of 0 is 1 and the sine of 0 is 0. The cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2 and the sine of 30 is 1 half. And we have here the cosine of 60 is 1 half and the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 and the cosine of 90 is 0 and the sine of 90 is 1. Now, if we are going to take so, kung clockwise rotation natin, di ba, meron tayong negative na angle. So, from 0 here, we have here negative 90. So, at 0, the cosine of 0 is 1. And at 30 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. At 60, we have here 1 half. And at 90, we have here 0. So, for negative 30 so it can be found here that is just equal to this value here with the negative y so meaning the cosine is square root of 3 over 2 and for 60 degrees for negative 60 here we have this value and the negative of the y so the x coordinate is just the same as this one half here so for negative 90 so we have here f of x is equal to zero if we are going to sketch the graph of this function and we have here 30 60 90 this is negative 30 this is negative 60 and this is negative 90 so at negative 90 that is equal to zero at 60, we have here 1 half. So, kung ito yung 1 half and ito yung 1. So, we have here 1 half. And at 30, the square root of 3 over 2. So, approximately 0. 0.87. Now, so, if the angle is 0, that is equal to 1. Now, so, Again, for 30, that's some that's 0.8 something. And for 60 here, that is equal to 1 half. And for 90, that is equal to 0. So, kung i-draw natin yung graph nito. And this is... Sinasabi dito na the event function is symmetrical with respect to y. Kung anong nakikita natin dito sa left side ng y axis is just the same as the right side of the y-axis and if we are going to visualize the whole picture of this now so we have here 90 we have 180 here and 270 so ang graph ng cosine natin ay naka, naka wave siya na, na ganun. and like this kung gagamit tayo ng calculator para makuha yung mga coordinates at every point. Now, so, gagamitin na natin dito yung table. Mode and 7. And then, itatype lang natin yung function. So, that's x squared. Um, hinihingi niya dito kung saan tayo magsisimula. So, in this sense, magsisimula tayo sa negative 2 hanggang positive 2 with the interval of 1. So, start tayo ng negative 2 kasi yun yung hinihingi natin. Pero pwede ka naman mag-start ng medyo mas malayo, kung negative 10 or hanggang positive 10. Basta huwag na masyadong maraming values kasi hindi na siya kakayanin ng memory ng calculator. And the end natin is 2. No? So interval natin is 1. So pag enter natin dyan, makikita agad natin dito yung mga coordinates natin. So, so makikita agad natin dito yung mga coordinates natin. So we have your negative 2 comma 4. We have negative 1 comma 1, 0 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 4. And yun lang, kasi yun lang naman yung hiningi natin. So, ibig sabihin kung gusto natin na mas maraming values yung ibigay niya sa atin. So, pwede tayo, let's say, magsimula tayo sa negative 10. 
hanggang positive 10 with the step of 1 and it's a patient memory na ba sabi ko masyado siyang madami so kung let's say start tayo with a negative 5 up to positive 5 then ayan yung mga coordinates niya okay so how about here for the cosine of theta if the angle used is radian so your calculator must be in radian mode and if your calculator is in degree, since degree naman yung gamit natin dito, then pwede na tayo magderecho. So we have your cosine of x. So start tayo with the negative 90. And mag end tayo sa 90. Ang interval natin dito ay 30 degrees. So with this, 9, negative 90 comma 0 negative 60 comma 0.5 or that's one half and negative uh, 30 degrees that's comma 0.87 or that's square root of 3 over 2 0 comma 1 we have here the square root of 3 over 2 we have 0 0.5 or one half and we have zero so ito na rin to yung nakatabulate yan and ganun siya kadali pag sa calculator how about for the odd function? So, odd function is a function f of x changes its sign when x is replaced by negative x. So, the f of negative x is equal to negative of f of x. So, such function have the graph symmetry to the origin. So, example neto ay x cubed, the sine theta, the cosine x, arc sine x, arc tan x, and etc. So, if we have here the f of x is equal to x cubed, ang sinasabi niya dito na if we are going to evaluate the f of negative x. So, papalitan natin ng negative yung x. And that would give us negative x cubed. Okay, kung compare natin, this is the original function, no? the x cubed. And we have here, pag nag-replace tayo ng negative x, naging negative x cubed na siya. So, ganun din yung mangyayari dito. Dyan, dyan, at saka dyan. Ngayon, igagraph natin itong dalawa. Itong x cubed at itong sine of theta para makita natin kung anong itsura nung may symmetry with the origin. So, if the function is equal to x cubed, then kung i-graph natin siya, so if this is x and this is the f of x, try natin from the negative 2, negative 1, 0, we have here 1 and 2. So, aalamin natin yung f of x. If we are going to substitute the negative 2 here, so we have here negative 2 cubed, that's negative 8. We have negative 1 cubed, so that's negative 1. 0 cubed is 0. We have 1 cubed is 1 and 2 cubed is 8. Now, if we are going to make use of the calculator, then what we are going to do is mode 7 lang tayo and then type in the equation and we have here x cubed equals start so start tayo ng graph natin from negative 2 and we end our graph to positive 2 and our step here is 1 ang step ibig sabihin itong interval na no? interval sa pagitan ng mga hinahanapan natin so from negative 2 to 1 that's 1 from 1 to 0 that's 1 from 0 to 1 that's 1 from 1 to 2 that's 1 yun yung ibig sabihin ng interval so we have here or yung step dito sa calculator so we have here negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, and 8. And, and itong table na pinakita ng calculator ay the same dito sa table na ginawa natin. Now, if we are going to graph this, so we have this negative 1, and this is negative 2, this is positive 1, and this is positive 2. So negative 2, comma, negative 8, uh, tansya lang to ha. And ito yung point na to. And 1, comma, 1. So, dito siya. And we have here 1, comma, 1. And 2, comma, 8. No? So, kung i-graph natin yan siya, ay ito yan yung graph niya. No? So, ngayon, pag sinabing symmetrical with respect to the origin, from here, Papunta dito, no, yung, yung, yung distance. Yung distance na to, 
from the origin to this point is just the same as this distance here. And yung distance from the origin papunta dito is just the same as the distance from the origin papunta doon. Kaya siya symmetrical with respect to the origin. So try natin si sine of theta. If the function of x is equal to sine of theta. So we have your x. Gamitan lang natin ng calculator to, no? And so palitan lang natin itong equation natin. And our equation is sine of theta or that's sine of x. Start tayo with negative 90 and end tayo with positive 90 with the interval of 30 degrees. And ito na yung mga values natin. So we have negative 1 here and we have negative square root of 3 over 2. We have here negative 1 half and 0. So that's negative 1 half and 0. And dito makikita natin, we have positive 1 half, positive square root of 3 over 2 and 1. So that's positive 1 half, positive square root of 3 over 2 and positive 1. So, kung titingnan natin dito, if we are going to have this graph, if this is negative 90, this is negative 60, this is 30, and this is 0, this is 30, 60, and 90. So, ang pinaka malaking value natin dito is 1. So, if this is 1, and this is 1 half, 1 half, this is 1, and this is negative 1. Okay, sa 90, siya ay negative 1. And, dito sa... 30 siya ay 1 half. Dito ay approximately square root of 3. Uh, this is square root of 3 over 2. Approximately 0.87. This is 0 here. Sa 30, we have 1 half here. And we have square root of 3 over 2 here. And we have positive 1 here. So kung i-draw natin yung graph nito ay ito naman yung graph niya. Now, so kung i-visualize kasi natin yung buong mukha nitong sine function na to if this is 90 this is 180 so we have here this is negative of course this is 90 and this is 180 here ang mukha nito ay yan na to siya no? and ayan no? so makikita natin dito this is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis Kasi the distance from this point up to this point here is just the same as this point here for so 30 and negative 30. And dito sa 60, ang distance nito is just the same as the distance papunta doon sa 60. And this distance here from the origin to 90 is just the same as the distance papunta dito sa 90. So we have your theorem number one. If f of x is an even function, then the integral of f of x dx with the limit of negative a up to a is just equal to twice of, of the integral of f of x dx from 0 to a. So, kasi kapag meron tayong even function, yung even function kasi is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis. So halimbawa, ito yung function of x natin. Ngayon, ang... Um, if this is negative a and this is positive a, so this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. Ang pinapakumpit kasi dito is the area galing dito sa negative a hanggang sa positive a. So since ang area neto is just the same as this area to here, no? so pwede nating sabihin na yung area from 0 to a, ay ita times 2 lang natin. No? So kung ano na compute nating area dito, i times 2 lang natin kasi yun din yung area na nandito. Yun yung sa theorem number 1. While in theorem number 2, if f of x is an odd function, then the negative, then the integral of the f of x dx from negative a to positive a is equal to 0. So what is the reason? Kasi kung 
Kasi kung ito yung function natin, so halimbawa, ito yung negative a and ito yung positive a. So this area 1 is just equal to this area 2 here. Kaso itong area 1 natin is negative at ang area 2 natin is positive. So yung limit natin from negative a up to a, no? So since this area here ay equal, negative lang itong isa and positive itong isa, so that's why it would give you the area equal to 0. So kaya kapag meron kang function na odd no, na function and the limit natin is just negative a to positive a, anong ibig sabihin nun? Halimbawa, we have here negative 2 papuntang positive 2. No? So, ibig sabihin nun, huwag ka namang compute kasi ang sagot nun ay 0 lang. No? From the above theorems, number 1, the limit of the integration are from negative a to a equidistant from the y-axis that passes 0. And number 2, the integrand consists of the several terms. The odd function may be left out and integrate only the even functions using the theorem 1 provided limits are from negative a to a. Applicable lang ito sa limits ng negative a papuntang positive a. No? So kung the same yung value ng limit niya, negative lang yung lower limit, and positive naman yung upper limit. So kapag ganun yung case, yung odd function natin ay pwede na nating tanggalin doon sa sinusob natin kasi zero lang naman yung sagot niya. And then i-apply natin yung theorem 1 para doon sa mga even functions.